I don't know about all of you, but I see a lot of warning signs. I don't believe a word of this latest ride from Meghan and Harry. Then allegedly Harry, Meghan and Doria were involved in a near-catastrophic car chase because the paparazzi chased them for two hours in New York. I do not believe. It's a thing of the past that Diana is so, for a myriad of reasons, she doesn't anymore, there are no paparazzi groups chasing them, they just aren't big enough to chase them. Even though it's something the paparazzi have always done what I mean. Fo they are coming back from an awards show Megan paid to get an award in everything no one cares about being on the East Coast and Megan got a Woman of Vision award that was given to her awarded by Gloria Steinem because she paid the price. The only paparazzi surrounding Megan and Harry are the ones they hired to be there. I guess Megan is mad because she didn't get enough coverage to get that stupid award. So between her and her little conspirators, they must have created some kind of accident to create a little drama to stir the pot a bit and get some new copies my goodness though. A near fatal car accident. Catastrophic. Oh please. Personally, I don't believe any of this, I see through all this stuffing, the timing of this little story is quite interesting given that Harry is currently battling in court over security, phone hacking and privacy invasion issues. It's just such a prank and shows how desperate the two are to come up with nonsense like this. This whole thing stinks of being a staged accident. I doubted all of these things for the same reasons listed when Harry came back to us. K for the court case the one where he ruined the environment on a pointless private jet trip, he could easily have gone through the back door like the other one, but no, no, no. He wanted to park on the street. The chosen photographers were alerted and marched in through the front door, giving everyone a chance to see his ugly, arrogant, smug face. Both are pathetic. The mayor of New York also stepped in and said no, they hadn't been chased in two hours and one of the taxi drivers said a few paparazzi were following the car but there was definitely no high-speed pursuit. As soon as this story came out, I knew it very well. It was just another one of their PR stunts to try to get their names out in the news and also endorses Harry's ridiculous lawsuit to see you for police protection. Similarly, Meghan's awards appear right after the coronation. They just can't stand being out of the spotlight. Can? It's not too hard to see where a lot of their money is going from Netflix deals and all. They buy fake prizes and hire people to show up and greet them or pretend to be paparazzi chasing them. It's really pathetic. So I'm sure the story is completely made up. I mean, if anyone knows anything about New York traffic, there's no way this craziness lasted two hours, and if it did, it might have been for two minutes max so mad that she blocked the secondary roads, which I think is against the law on private security. The streets of New York also have lights on every street, so I'm sure it was Meghan and Harry's security guards who didn't stop at red lights or block off side streets when they were there if they were in a taxi. As the paparazzi said, well, I guess the driver would probably never put his license or the cab company in a situation like that. And another thing is how the hell did they communicate the security details with the taxi driver, of course, it was just a publicity stunt that Harry thought he could use as proof that he really needed security. There's absolutely no way anyone could have a two-hour high-speed car chase in Manhattan. I mean, if I closed all the roads, of course, but otherwise no, there is so much traffic everywhere. The simple statement was clear enough to say that there were no high-speed car chases. And oh, one was hurt. No arrests were made and no fines were imposed. Her full B Megan and Harry walked a total of 1.4 miles. They went from an SUV with tinted windows to a taxi to get to where they were staying, hope the royals will understand that this was just a publicity stunt and I'm pretty sure the NYPD also released a statement saying there were almost no incidents. There were no injuries and many others nothing. Now I will believe the police for Meghan and Harry any time because we already know there are a few liars out there who would love to lose their license or their cap medallion which is actually worth a lot of money for a few low lives. Surely this is just a publicity stunt to take back to London that we said our lives were in danger. We need taxpayers to pay for our security, actually. 
I am much more worried for the Prince of Wales and his family as Meghan has already publicly stated that they are just one plane crash away from the throne. Really scary stuff it's just another lie that Meghan and Harry believe no one will ever question because there's a lot of people who've never been to New York and maybe don't know that the streets are controlled by lampposts and completely congested. It's just a ridiculous story. Me, he just left, we are tired of you, of course the sun will rise every day, McCung and Harry will tell more lies. Are there a few degenerates and how painful is that kind of toxic desperation? It is not possible that they were chased for two hours through New York, it is simply unimaginable and practically impossible. So what are they trying to do? Is it really because they are just trying to make taxpayers pay for security, so they increase the pressure to get what they want, it won't work. I think the judges will have a lot of fun with them when Harry shows up for his security case. Honestly, how don't they feel embarrassed by some of the stuff they offer? I mean what was that imaginary car chase with Doria in the back seat with them? Okay, but there are no pics of the two-hour car chase, obviously. Obviously, the police assumed this never happened. It was just a setup, and I remember seeing the space in the cabin. He had a sly, very happy smile on his face like a Cheshire cat and it looked like Doria was staring at her phone like she didn't care. He was probably crazy and Harry was obviously filming everything for his upcoming trial, all three deserve each other. It reminds me of another story made up for Make and Harry. In fact, the near-catastrophic car crash reminded me of that fire in South Africa where the entire nursery and living unit nearly burned down in. That's typical Make and Harry behavior, N is this not? Nobody creates drama around them, so they have to create their own drama, they are really pathetic see what they want. It is 24-7 IP security and status. And of course taxpayers should foot the bill for their own safety. On the other hand, if that's true, which it's not, it wouldn't destroy their reason for leaving the UK, I thought I left the UK because they were so dangerous, it's much more dangerous in the US and the UK and the fact is that Diana died in Paris so France seems a bit more dangerous given that the royal family travels around the UK daily and that she has no problem being sued, let alone a near-catastrophic car accident. Harry's statement seems completely worthless, it's really insulting that. Meghan and Harry even thought we would believe this nonsense. I mean if it's to try to get sympathy for Harry's cause and get security and protection from the police. Well, what a really dumb way to do it. And the timing makes it very obvious what they are doing. And of course, this one will fail like all their other little schemes, and no one is buying their sketchy drama and they try to draw comparisons between them and Paris car crash with Diana. I have now discovered that being really scary is sick. They expect people to believe they are being hounded by the press like Meghan and Harry. There is something seriously wrong with you too. This story is so absurd, I don't believe a word of it. Consider this if you will. The coronation and the events, now also involving senior members of the royal family, are the subject of much press in the media and are driving the scary mad that they are not getting what they consider to be the publicity they deserve. Is due, so they decide to do this little trick to get the top fold of the sheets. I wonder when Harry will finally get tired of being a little ornament on Meghan's arm. Meghan is still the center of attention and Harry is still pretty much just an appendage in you.